to conclude this chapter, we're going to talk about writing to a file. So first we need to write the file with appropriate permission. Now we have, so first we're going to start off with our, oops, we're going to start off with starting with file equals this time instead of, we're going to open this time. However, we're going to use something, we're going to use the mode write w plus this means we can write read and write with this file opens the file for both reading and writing we also have something called wb which write, opens the file in binary format but we won't be using that so we're going to be using w plus so reading and writing to demonstrate how this works now when you open a file in write mode it's going to either it's going to overwrite the existing file, or if it doesn't exist, it'll create a new file. So let's make a new file called write.txt. And this is stored in wherever the Sublime Text project is located inside that folder. So our new, we're going to open a new file called, we're going to open a file called write.txt, which we're going to use for reading and writing. So let's, let's, do the following. So we're going to do write. We have the method called write. And the argument inside that is the, the parameter inside that is going to be the string that we're going to, whatever we're going to write to the file. So we have hello file. I am string. So we have that written. So let's say we want to read what we just wrote now. So once we write to a file, the, the, cur the pointer in the files moves to the very end. So we want to get it back to the beginning, the, the cursor, the pointer, excuse me, back to the beginning. So we're going to use file.seek and then zero to go back to the very beginning of the file. So we can actually, you know, so we can actually go back to the beginning. All right, so then we're going to print file dot read and then afterwards we're going to close as part of, part of a good as part of good practice we're going to close as you can see it did it now if we removed seek let's do remove seek as you can see there's nothing there because we're at the end of the file so yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much that and then what we can also do we could let's let's take Oops, let's take, let's do f seek, file seek, back to the end. And we can, we can basically write within that. So let's say we write, so once we use seek, we can write at that position. So at the very beginning of the file, we're going to write a new string as a part of the whole text inside the file. So let's do write. And then from that right, we're going to say this. And then we're going to build. And as you can see, it did it from that. It started from that position. So let's use seek again. So it wrote this. And then after writing it, it went back to the, it went to the very end of that position. So let's do the, this. And it basically overwrote whatever was here. So it wrote the hell and hello with this because it, we were at the beginning, so it took four characters and rewrote them. And that pretty much concludes dealing with the chapter dealing with data input and file management. We hope to see you next time.